SUCON is one of ETSU's largest annual events celebrating all things pop culture. It began in 2013 by three faculty advisors who eventually came on to create one of the biggest events that happens on campus. My name is Hannah Sigmund. I'm currently in my last semester of pharmacy school. I've been event involved with the event since 2016, and now I am fully in charge of the event along with the rest of the members of my team. My name is Madison Warner. I am the con manager this year for EdsuCon 2023. Previously, I was the marketing director, and I was a volunteer that started in 2016. We actually began the process planning for this at the very end of the convention last year. Um, a week after we had ended the convention, we were approved for our 2023 date. So we began the official planning for it in July, and then we've been planning it ever since and up until the very last minute. We've had some phenomenal featured guests like Gray Delisle, who has voiced Azula from Avatar, Daphne since 2009 in Scooby-Doo, and various other roles. Um, as well as Kira Buckland, who is Jolene and JoJo's, as well as various other anime characters and video game. Alejandro Saab, who is a VTuber, as well as various anime and video game characters as well. With Bucktainment, we've got to bring back Steffa Plush, which has been gone from campus for several years. And it's just Build-A-Bear, but tiny. Light of Guy, who is at ETSU Treasure, has come back to do a performance. We love having him. It's a great place to buy any of the nerdy stuff that you want. We have a giant room full of various artists and vendors that are selling their hard works as well as the things that they've brought in. A lot of local businesses, a lot of students that are artists as well. We have a giant video game tournament in the cave that is led by various student groups as well as ETSU eSports. So one of the things that we thought about when we first came onto the team was how we really wanted to create a different narrative for EdsuCon this year. So we walked into it with a lot of different philosophies, such as we wanted to go ahead and make it more community-based, we wanted it to be more student-led, and having a new team with all female and people who had also were not the ones that started it kind of gave it a new perspective all around. So this year is actually the very first year that we have been able to partner with the student organizations that are on campus. So what we have offered was an opportunity for them to be able to partner with one of the large events to be able to market themselves as well. Hannah and I have been so passionate about this event for so very long and that it has provided us an opportunity to be able to give the same experience to these students that we have also had. I think one of my favorite parts is working with this team of students that we have because it is great seeing all the new faces because I've been with the, this event since 2016. One of the things that makes this event so fun is that it provides an opportunity for students who are into more of the more pop culture-esque type things to have a weekend to enjoy some of the things that they're interested in. Finding that sense of home outside of home it is very difficult to find an event in the real world that you can dress up as your favorite characters embrace all of the things that you love and not be scrutinized for it. Outside of Halloween, it's hard to dress up anywhere. So if you want to go ahead and follow us on our social media pages at ETSUConTN, it is going to be on Facebook and Instagram. We also have a link tree as well that are in our bios for our profiles in which you're able to find out more information for applications as well as volunteering. We'd love to see you at ETSUCon 2024.